Broken spokes are a real nightmare. The rim is gonna come out of true, it's gonna start rubbing on the brakes, maybe even the frame, and essentially the whole wheel is barely gonna be usable. However, the good news is that it's actually really easy to replace a spoke yourself, as this video is gonna show you. Now, all you need is a spoke key. You need to get the right size, because there are loads of different sizes available. A flat-headed screwdriver, and then potentially tire levers to get your tire off, pliers, and then also, don't forget, a replacement spoke. Now, spokes come in loads of different lengths and also types. It depends very much on the depth of your rim, the size of your wheel, in fact, the type of hub you've got, and then what spokes are used in the first place. Very simply, you can measure one of the other spokes on the wheel to get the right length. You go from the inside of the elbow right to the tip of the spoke, but you have to be quite accurate to within plus or minus a couple of millimetres. So it might actually be easier to take the whole wheel to your local bike shop and get them to use their expertise to help you buy a replacement spoke. We'll start by removing the broken spoke. Now you need to be a little bit careful when removing the end that's broken near the nipple because what we want to avoid is actually the whole lot getting lost inside the rim. It's not possible on this because the rim's so shallow, but on a deeper section carbon wheel, it can actually be a major annoyance. You don't have to remove the tire. You can leave the nipple in there and try and unscrew it from here, but it does make it a little bit more straightforward. So tire off, push the rim tape to one side, and then the spoke and nipple will just thread straight out. You can then hopefully just unscrew it like that, but quite often you can actually find that the spoke and the nipple will seize together, in which case it's just simplest to replace the nipple as well as the spoke. Remove the other end of the spoke by unthreading it from the hub eyelet. Now, you might find that in order to do that last bit, you actually need to remove the cassette on your back wheel if that's the side that the spoke's broken, or indeed a disc rotor if you're running discs. With the broken spoke completely removed, it's now time to thread the new one in. And at this point, we need to have a little look to see exactly how the wheel has been laced. So, it could be three cross, meaning that the spoke crosses three other spokes on its way from the hub to the rim, like this one. Two cross or straight pull, meaning that the spoke goes directly from the hub to the rim without crossing another. And then we also need to pay attention to see which side the spoke needs to be threaded from. So if you have a look closely, these alternate between being threaded from the outside of the hub to the inside of the hub. And in this particular instance, my new spoke needs to be threaded from the inside of the hub. If the wheel is laced two or three cross, then you need to make sure that the new spoke matches the old ones in terms of where it crosses the other one, either inside or outside. So in this case, in most three cross wheels, it goes outside the first two spokes that it crosses and then inside the third spoke, like that. Next, if you've taken the nipple out, it's time to put it back in. And this is a job that can actually be made a lot simpler if you have a spare spoke lying around or a suitable length of your old broken spoke because you thread it in to the opposite end of the nipple to normal several times. And then you have a handy poking device for threading it back through the rim, which is particularly useful on those deep section wheels because you really, really, as I said before, don't want to lose that nipple inside the rim. Once that's in place, you just carefully unthread it and then use your flat bladed screwdriver to start tightening the nipple onto the spoke until there's enough nipple through the rim for you to attach a spoke key. Now it's just a case of tightening the spoke to the right tension and truing the wheel, which is something of an art form in itself. But in essence, the key thing to remember is that as you tighten the spoke, it'll pull the rim over to the side of the wheel that the spoke originates from. So in this case, the spoke comes from that side of the hub, so it pulls the wheel in that direction. Now, you will obviously need to put the, either the wheel back in your bike so that you can actually get a sense of whether it is being trued or in a truing stand, and that'll make the job much, much easier. But we have, of course, a video showing you exactly how to true your wheel, which goes into much, much more detail. You can get through to that just by clicking up there. 
or to see how you might get home from a ride if you've broken a spoke whilst you're out. Then we've got a roadside video just down there. Otherwise, before you go to either of those, do make sure that you subscribe to GCN. Every week we will do a maintenance video. And so if you subscribe, then you'll be in exactly the right place to catch it as it comes out.